smell nothing, is it? You will not smell a thing. Folks, I want y'all to understand that we don't add nothing into our whiskey when we drip our whiskey mm. through that charcoal. Folks, that charcoal, that is nature's perfect filtering medium, and it removes corn oil, esters, and fatty acids, and chemicals, and compounds, and soap. When you put out Again, over a million gallons of whiskey is under that roof. Folks, we got a whole bunch of barrel houses. They're scattered all around Lynchburg and Moore County. Millions and millions of gallons of whiskey inventory on site. And they give me one lousy pint once a month. So I'm grabbing rock, have a seat here now. Sit right down. You'll be glad you did. Oh, yeah. This will cool your biscuits right off, buddy. Jack was a hard working kid, folks. When he was seven years old, he moved in with a local Lutheran minister named Dan Call, and Jack learned how to make whiskey working on his preacher still. Folks, in them days, anybody could make or sell whiskey. He could not get it right. He got angry. Temper. He kicked the door of the safe. He broke his big toe. Well, folks, Jack didn't tell anybody. He used a cane for a couple months, and that toe got infected real bad. Gangrene. Had to cut off his toe. Over the year, there are more operations until six years after Jack kicked that safe. He died of that infection. He was 61 years old. This is in 1911. His final years were not good. Damn safe. You killed Jack, Jack Daniels. You killed Jack Daniels. Oh, Tennessee whiskey. Oh, wow. 
What do you think, Mike? It's the best. The best you've ever had? It's the best. 